Hey what's up everybody I hope you all are doing absolutely fine this is Raditya and in this video I am going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S10e Now I know that many of you guys are wondering that even if it is a revisit video why you choose this phone Well I choose this phone mainly because of two reasons first the size yes the form factor is the reason number one I mean it's just a 5.8 inch display phone it's very compact just look at that how good it feels and fits into the hand so yeah it's really comfortable it's the true one hand phone i mean i can reach all the four corners of this phone without a problem so yeah that's the reason number one i mean if you see like nowadays you know 6.4 6.5 inch is the ideal size phone and some phones comes with a less width which fits perfectly into your palm but that is not of you know one hand phone i mean that's definitely more than that so there are a lot of people like me who still prefers compact phone which has less than 6 inch display and if you see like in today's market there are very less options pixel 4a is there with 5.8 inch display then there is one phone from asus the asus 8 series i mean that phone comes with 5.8 inch display with Qualcomm flagship processor then in iPhone you will get iPhone 12 and 13 mini and iPhone 12 and 13 Pro 11 Pro is also there with 5.8 inch uh, display size so Apple provides a lot of uh, options still even in 2021 2022 but in Android world there is literally uh, no options left especially if you see the recent market there is not a single phone which is a compact phone now i know that many people starts preferring you know huge phones that's fine but still my point is that there are a lot of people like us the one who are watching and me we prefer you know small phones not this small even 6.1 6.2 inch is good in 2022 but not that 6.7 6.8 inch phone for example the recently launched samsung galaxy s22 ultra i mean that phone is 6.8 inch and no matter how good the phone is if it is like a brick i'm not going to buy i'm not going to use it as my daily driver because we generally use our phone every single freaking day right and we keep this phone in our pocket so a smartphone is definitely very very important for us but also it should be portable but nowadays companies are switching towards phablet it's not smartphone it's a smart phablet that's for sure but yeah many people are there who are just fine with it I mean even 6.6, 6.7, 6.8 inch display size just don't bother them. So that's fine for them. But for people like us, we need a small phones. So that's the reason number one. The reason number two is that I wanted to use the Samsung software. It's been so long I used a phone with Samsung software. And yeah, this phone is running the One UI 4.0. So that makes the reason number two even more solid because I can use the latest Samsung software on this phone. So in this video, I'm going to share my overall experience with this phone. I'm using this from a couple of days. and. I will tell you that can you buy this phone in 2022 and is it good enough in 2022 even if you are an existing user so let's begin all right so starting first with the battery i mean this is not a new phone i am using this from last couple of days but my friend bought this during the launch time so it's almost three years old phone and definitely in small phones there is one downside especially in android world the battery I mean you will not get good battery backup now if you're a teenager or someone like me then you're not going to get one day battery from this phone i mean you're definitely going to charge this phone for once or maybe twice if you play a lot of games well for playing games definitely don't buy this phone but for normal tasks i mean definitely you can go for it but you have to charge the phone by evening or if your screen on time is so less like just three hours and three and a half hours per day then you can go with this because you will get the battery back off of around three to four hours so that's the maximum which you can get from this phone so if your usage is more than four hours make sure that you have to charge this phone now talking about uh, the charging then you will get wireless charging here that's a plus point also you will get reverse wireless charging and there is not a fast charging available but since the battery capacity is a small inside the phone it will charge your phone in one and a half hours which is definitely i mean okay okay now if you talk about the performance if you're looking for normal task then you're good to go i mean doing basic stuff here is definitely piece of cake for this phone even in 2022 now if you are thinking to game so as i already told you because of the performance because of the battery because of the small display i won't prefer playing games on this phone but if you still want to do like casual gaming of course you can because the processor is very capable to play heavy games all right now let's talk about the camera so you will only get dual camera setup in the rear but these two cameras are very useful one is the main lens and then the other one is the ultra wide lens both comes with 12 megapixel and trust me the results are very good and even in 2022 it's acceptable in fact more than that i mean it will definitely give you better result than the current mid-range phones and talking about the video then video quality is also very good and video stability is also very good now if you talk about the display then it's outstanding i mean even in 2022 it will done the job the 
colors which comes out from the display is excellent the display brightness in outdoor is excellent so i have no complaints from the display but the only downside of the display is that it's just 60 hertz refresh rate you won't get high refresh rate in the s10e and definitely it feels slow and i mean it's very obvious if you downgrade in anything it's really hard to go I mean it's hard to downgrade like suppose that if you're using 4k monitor and all of a sudden if you start using 1080p monitor then you will feel less sharp the resolution is not going to be sufficient for you same goes for battery if you start using 65 watt 70 80 watt chargers and then if you switch down to 18 watt or 30 watt then you will feel really slow so yeah same goes for refresh rate if you start using 120 hertz if your eyes are adjusted to that 120 hertz panel then if you will come back to 60 hertz you will immediately notice especially when the animations you know start playing the roles when you swipe when you scroll you will see those it feels like it's sluggish but it's not it's not the problem of processor or software it's a problem not actually problem it's just that the refresh rate is less that's why you will feel little bit of you know sluggishness but i mean see it's an old phone so i am fine i have no problems i said the same thing for the pixel 4a as well i mean it's not the processor it's not the software it's the refresh rate so 90 hertz is good 120 hertz is excellent so in 2022 at least 90 hertz if you are looking for a new phone now let's talk about the software so as i told you that uh, i am using this for software as well and i really like the one ui 4.0 here and you know some features are really very good which is definitely i want to see in stock android or you can see in other phones as well like swiping on the contact to make the call is very convenient and then there are some cool samsung stuffs I don't think that I should cover those because then video will get very longer. So overall, if I say then the software is good and the overall features which Samsung gives is also very good. Now, if you talk about the design and build quality, then it feels really good in hand, very premium, still very premium. And because it's compact, I just love, I just love compact phones. And this one is no different. Same goes for Pixel 4a, same goes for iPhone 13 mini, same goes for this phone as well. And yeah, with aluminum frames and glass body, it feels even more premium than Pixel 4a. In fact, a lot more premium and a lot more good in hand. So overall, the design is very good. Yeah, one complaint that, you know, the fingerprint reader is on the uh, power lock button and the placement of that button is horrible i mean you just have to uh, you know go all the way up to touch your thumb and now it's not working so i guess it's not very accurate as well but yeah this is very annoying and it's not working what the oh my god so samsung is not good in terms of on stage performance really sad one hour later nope it's not working anyway oh my god oh finally <laughs> finally finally it, it worked let me try again all right now it's working and same goes for volume rocker as well the placement of the volume rocker is also very high so that's the two thing which i don't like and also the punch hole cutout was big but again the punch hole was very new very innovative introduced by samsung so no complaints i mean this is a terrific move and later on every you know smartphone uh, manufacturers were just copying this thing before that the trend was to copy notch from the iphone 10 but when they introduced this with the s10 lineup everyone was like punch hole punch hole and punch hole except vivo if you know you know <laughs> All right, so it's time for the final verdict. If you are an existing user of this phone, then you are already aware with all the pros and cons. And if you're okay with the battery, then I guess you can still use this phone for one more year. Now, if you want to buy this phone, then definitely don't go for this phone as a as your daily driver as your primary phone now if you are someone who you know use two phones then this one will work as a secondary phone as a backup phone very well because you will still get all the things you will also get ip68 dust and water resistance you will get wireless charging so there are all you know top notch features flagship features but still because of less battery i won't recommend you to use this phone but if you are fine with the battery and if you are ready to carry the power bank with you then you are good to go with this phone even as a daily driver you can use this and yeah one bonus thing you will still get headphone jack in this phone after s10 they stopped giving this but in this phone you will get the headphone jack as well so that's very nice and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys like this video if you want more videos like this like if you want me to cover three years four years five years old phone on this channel then please comment down that what phone you guys want to see next 
I will definitely try to cover that out. I mean, if majority of people want to see that phone, I will definitely cover. I will try my best. So yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Until then, bye bye. Take care.